All right, so in this video, we are exploring just a handful of what ifs, and we are now on page 15. <laughs> and so for the first one, we want to consider the function rule y equals 4x. We want to know where will this graph start and how do we know. Now remember, the starting point is always going to be this y-intercept. And for y equals 4x, just ask yourself, what is the constant? Well, if we don't see a number, it's plus 0, because the additive identity property says if you add 0, it doesn't change anything. So right there, we can see that this is actually going to start at the origin. And from there, we can now use the slope as a fraction for the rise over the run. So from that starting point, we can now go up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. Up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And friendly reminder, if it's a positive slope, you could also go down and back. So now I'll generate by going down 4 and back 1 and down 4 and back 1. Once again, when we connect, we should get a straight line here. Arrows on the end. And we're good to go. So this one started at the origin because we, have, we don't see a constant. So to answer the question, it will start at the origin because the constant equals 0. OK, cool. All right, now let's take a look at the next problem, y'all. So what happens when we have just y equals a number? And what that definitely indicates is that we should be getting twos no matter what in our column for the range. And with y equals mx plus b, let's talk about how we could get just a number. If we don't have a slope and then we just see the plus 2, you guys know that 0 times anything is 0. And then 0 plus 2 is, of course, 2. So to get the equation y equals 2, that must mean we have no slope. Now think about it. I could take any number and plug it in. Like I could say, OK, so let x be a negative 5. And negative 5 times 0 is 0, and then I'd get a 2. What if I plugged in a 0? All right, so 0 times 0 is 0, plus 2, still a 2. I could plug in a 1. 0 times 1 is 1, and I'd still get a 2. Or sorry, 0 times 1 is 0, plus 2 would be 2. And let's say if I plugged in a 3. So 0 times 3 is 0, and then plus 2. So the answer every single time is a 2 no matter what. And when we come over here and now plot the points, it's like saying, OK, I can go back 5, up 2. I could have 0, 2. I could go over 1, up 2. And then if I move over 3, up 2. And of course, when we connect now, we'll see a straight line. And let's think this through. This makes a lot of sense. And why does this make sense? We're seeing right here, it has no slope. And if something has no slope, that means it has no steepness, which means this is a completely flat line. OK? So when you see y equals just a number, it's going to be a flat line. And it's actually going to be our horizontal line. OK? Now, if we see that y equals 2 generates a bunch of 2s in the chart, what do you think the next problem is going to generate in the chart? You guessed correct, a bunch of 2s. So what this means is, y'all, no matter what, x is 2. Now over here, it doesn't matter. I could go over 2, then down 1. I could go over 2, then stay at 0. I could go over 2 and go up 3. I could go over 2 and go up 5. And what you're going to see now when I plot these, if I go over 2, down 1, here I am. Over 2, 0. 2, 3. Over 2, up 5. All of these points are up and down, and when we connect, we're going to get a vertical line. So the x equals number is going to be a vertical line. Now I want to very clearly come through and talk about what this means about the slopes, okay? Now friendly reminder that for this one, we're saying that it has no slope, it'd be a flat line, it would be horizontal. Now as a fraction, that slope is 0 over 1, and now let me show you guys over here to go from one point to the next. If we started at 2, I would not move up or down at all, and I'd simply go over 1, over 1, over 1, over 1. Now I could also go back 1, because 0 divided by negative 1 is still 0, and it generates the points. And so our shortcut still works by taking the 2 y-intercept and then the 0 as a fraction over 1, and we can still connect the dots. 
Now let's say though, I just say, okay, I want you to graph now y equals, let's do y equals negative 1. You don't got to worry about the table of values, just come on through and say, okay, so it's going to go through negative 1, and it's going to be a flat line that goes through negative 1. Just make sure you have the arrows on the end, and you've just graphed y equals negative 1. It's a flat line with no steepness, and it goes through negative 1. Now we've got to talk about this x equals 2. There is absolutely no y equals when it starts out, okay? What's happening over here, let's see if we take this and try to count rise over run. If I'm going from this blue point to this blue point, I'm going up 2, and then I don't go left or right any. And you guys know in the world of math, we cannot divide a number by 0. That can't happen. Let's say I was trying to go from this blue point to this blue point. I'd go down 3, so I could have down 3, and then again, not left or right. And so we cannot divide a number by 0, which means in this situation, when we talk about the slope, we're going to say that it is undefined. We cannot divide a number by 0, and that's why these vertical lines will have an undefined slope. So an easy way that I like to remember this is like the weird one, the weird one that starts with x equals. It doesn't start with y equals like everything else does. So our weird one starts with x equals. It's the weird one that's going up and down. It's the weird one that has an undefined slope. The other one is a little bit more normal, if you will, because it starts with a y equals. And another thing that to remember is like, I like to have a little trick here about imagining we're dealing with a grocery bag. Imagine this is a brown grocery bag. Just deal with it. If you had eggs, would you put eggs at the bottom of the bag? No. So you'd put your eggs on top. That can happen. Now right here, let's say this was my grocery bag. Would I put eggs on the bottom? Never, never, never. Oh my gosh, you would never do that. Never, 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 never. So this is the thing that can't happen, so that's how you know it's undefined. Okay? Now let's take a look real quick. I just have a couple of questions to see if you've really got this. So a second ago, we just reviewed that, like, the up and down weird one, that's the x equals 2. That's right there. So now I'd want to know for the y-axis, what is the equation of the line for the y-axis? Just brainstorm real quick. If this is x equals 2, Let's say this is, I'll do negative 3 right here. This is going to be x equals negative 3 in red. And here's its line coming right there. So if that's x equals 2 and this is x equals negative 3, what do you think the y-axis is? It'll be x equals 0. That is the equation of the y-axis. All right, now let's try real quick the x-axis. So right here I've got that for a flat line, to remind you, that's the one that has no slope. It will start with a y equals. We technically have the zero slope, and then just the minus 3. And so this is, again, saying it starts at the minus 3. And we would not go up or down any and simply just move over 1 and plot a point. Move over 1, plot a point. Over 1, plot a point. Because 0 divided by negative 1 is still a 0, I can now also move back 1, back. And that's the equation for y equals negative 3. All right, so now let's think about this x-axis. What would be the equation of our x-axis? y equals 0. So if I'm asking you for the equation of one of the axes, it's the other letter equals 0. All right? Now let's flip over real quick to page 16 and make sure we're good to go by summing this stuff up. So just take these notes with me as I read through this. If the slope is a positive number in your equation, your graph will slant up to the right. It could be super steep. It could be a little bit flatter or kind of somewhere in between. It might not have a constant, which means it's going to start at the origin. It could start up above the origin or below the origin. The only thing that we really care about is the fact that the coefficient is positive, And that's how you know you've got one of these uh, lines slanting to the right. Now, if we have a slope that is negative, it's going to be one of the lines that tilts backwards to the left. And once again, it could start at the origin. It could, this one also starts at the origin. These are semicolons, by the way. These are semicolons right here. So both of these first two examples start at the origin. And then the last example here would cross above the origin. But the thing we care about is the fact that the coefficient is the negative number there. And all of these have a negative coefficient. Okay. Now, if the slope is 0, meaning it has no steepness, it's going to be one of those flat lines we talked about. And it's going to be the y equals just a number. 
Now this example that I have here, the y equals negative one fourth, I'm gonna go back over to this screen real quick. We can have y'all y equals a negative one fourth. If this is zero and this is negative one, negative one fourth is gonna be estimated right there and it's gonna be extremely close to the x-axis. And yes, in the world of math, you can have fractions and decimals when plotting. So that would be right there. It's a little tough to see the line, but that's the equation. Y equals the negative one-fourth. Okay? That was the Y equals... Oh, wait, right here. That was the Y equals negative one-fourth that I just showed you. All right. And last but not least, if we have a slope that is undefined, y'all, that's going to be the up-down one because we can't divide by zero. So this is the weird one, the weird one, and the weird ones that start with x equals just a number, okay? Now another friendly reminder, in order for the graph to pass through the origin, the constant would be a zero. And when the constant's a zero, notice we don't have to write it. So this is technically a 6x plus zero, this is technically a 1 4th x plus zero, and this is technically a negative 2 thirds x plus zero. And if you don't see a plus zero, you know it's going to start at the origin, and then you use your slope here to start to build the staircase. Now we're going to stop here with this part of it, and there's going to be another video that resumes down below for the how to, uh, for this next part, you'll get another video for how to identify slope and y-intercept for a graph. Thank you.